Welcome to Travel Smart, the insider's travel guide from Independent TV. This is the series where we share our take on the best destinations to visit and the most sustainable ways to explore the world. In this episode, we're enjoying island life and all the adventure that brings with a special look at Barbados in association with Visit Barbados. Barbados is an island that's rich in adventure, steeped in the Bajan culture. There are lots of reasons why people come to Barbados. Many come for luxury and a fair bit of golf too, but it's a great place for those who like to find adventure in nature. The beaches across the island offer different experiences, and of course, being an island, it has plenty of water-based activity too. While most of the hotels you'll browse online are scattered along the west and south coast of the island, it's worth hiring a car or booking a driver guide to explore the wilder, less developed east coast. Bathsheba Beach has huge wave-lashed boulders and unspoiled scenery to picnic in, while Animal Flower Cave is a curious swimming spot where you'll see sea anemones and can have a pretty waterfront lunch. While Helen is indulging on the west coast of the island and Lucy is going wild in the east, I recommend exploring the centre of Barbados. The island was regarded by the empire builders in London as a valuable colony and Barbados spent over 300 years under British rule. That is reflected in everything from the use of English everywhere to the enthusiasm for cricket and there are many relics of the colonial era. When people think of Barbados, they think of pristine beaches, and they wouldn't be wrong, but there's a whole host of different seaside experiences to be had across the island. For those looking for an active adventure on their beach days, there's a wealth of beaches with paddle and kiteboarding experiences, and plenty of opportunity to surf. The coral rock formations on the east coast are a hotspot for photographers and surfers, and bodyboarders should seek out the waves in the soup bowl. Silver Sands Beach is where the waves and winds get lively for windsurfing, while the six shipwrecks at Carlisle Bay make for a great scuba diving spot. For those looking for tranquility, Bottom Bay in the southeast is an excellent example of peace and nature, while Rockley Beach on the south coast has a mix of serene waters and restaurants to stop at and try along the waterfront. The south coast of the island, around St Lawrence Gap, between the capital Bridgetown and the airport, is the area I aim for. I like staying at the friendly local guest houses and the fish frying shacks at nearby Oystins are excellent value. Like many Caribbean islands, Barbados has its own distinct cuisine and dishes from grab-on-the-go street eats to some of the region's most glamorous restaurants. If you're a fish fan, Oyston's Fish Fry on the south coast is the place to visit. This weekly event is more of a street party tourists are welcome to join than a formal dining experience. Showing up on a Friday night, you'll hear reggae, calypso and soca music as you join locals queuing for fresh swordfish, tuna or mahi-mahi. These are sizzled up right in front of you and served with filling Bajan sides. Macaroni pie, rice and peas and fried plantain are all must-tries, eaten at relaxed benches among locals. For a fine dining experience, the island has a host of excellent restaurants. Champers is located on Skeets Hill in Hastings, a stylish seaside spot inside a traditional old Bajan home overlooking picturesque Accra Beach. QP Bistro is another, burrowed into a cliffside on the west coast and offering the likes of coconut shrimps and Baja burritos. On the south coast, the Primo Bar and Bistro in St Lawrence Gap serves Mediterranean-influenced dishes in a spectacular waterside location. As you can see, whether it's high-end dining or street food, Barbados offers all kinds of different experiences. But who can tell you better than local chef, Damien Leach? I caught up with him to have a chat about his restaurant, Cocktail Kitchen. 
Hi Damien, thank you so much for joining us. Um, so to kick off, can you tell us about your restaurant, Cocktail Kitchen, and how it fits into the Barbados food scene? Cocktail Kitchen is in St. Lawrence Gap. So St. Lawrence Gap is a, a, a really popular spot. It's filled with restaurants and, and, and bars and great nightlife. So when we got the opportunity to open there seven years ago now, we were very excited because it was a, it's a, it's a, it's a hot spot. How does Bajan culture inspire your cooking and the dining experience at Cocktail Kitchen? How I describe our cuisine at Cocktail Kitchen is modern Caribbean. So as an example, we do a, a roast breadfruit. I'm very passionate about it. I have a tattoo of a roast breadfruit on my hand. Um, and growing up, we used to roast it on the beach. So at Cocktail Kitchen, I elevate that slightly. I roast the breadfruit and then I top it with saltfish and lobster. So we've taken that traditional cheap dish and elevated it slightly to work in the restaurant and it's, a, it's massively popular. And finally, what's your favorite spot in Barbados? Our East Coast, I describe it as natural Barbados because unlike the West Coast and the South Coast, which are, you know, they have a lot of hotels and restaurants, it's almost untouched. It's very rugged, lots of rocks and cliff areas and it's, it's a gorgeous place. And honestly, every time I go there, like I feel I feel like a tourist, like I feel special. It's, it, it's honestly a magical spot, that's the truth. And it's the perfect spot for roast breadfruit as well. Oh, that sounds fantastic. Uh, well, thank you so much, Damien, for joining us and for sharing your top tips. On the Independence Travel Desk, we get sent hundreds of reader questions every single week and we do our very best to answer as many of them as we can. And seeing as this is our Barbados special, what better than to ask some of our readers' most pressing Barbados-related questions? So, first up, we have got a question asking, is Bridgetown worth exploring? Oh my goodness, yes it is. So the island's capital is a really, really fun little city. It's not a huge place. Um, it's actually pretty relaxing. They've got a lovely pedestrian area, Swan Street, and the whole city centre, plus the garrison to the south, is a world heritage site put there for historical significance. The garrison is the original British military headquarters and inside the old military prison there's the Barbados Museum which I really like. covers everything from the coral structures around Barbados all the way through to the history of the Amerindian people, the very first inhabitants of the Caribbean. Wow, well you've sold it to me, hopefully you've sold it to other people as well. Um, Second question, how easy is it to combine Barbados with other destinations? Well, of course, an awful lot of people who go to Barbados combine it with other destinations, particularly other Caribbean islands, because they're on a cruise. And I would urge anybody who's got a cruise that starts or ends or both in Barbados to plan to spend some time on the island. There you are, you've flown all that way. You might as well make the most of what's an absolutely compelling island. One of my favorites anywhere in the world. Well, thanks, Simon. Uh, but I feel like you've got one final hot tip that you're just bursting I to am, share. I am, and it's all about money. Here oh. is a US dollar, okay? okay? That is worth two Barbadian dollars. It's fantastic that Barbados has its own lovely coins and notes, but frankly, I just stay with the US currency because afterwards, if you needed to change some back, then it's slightly easier, I find, elsewhere in the world to get US dollars accepted than the lovely Barbados currency. Well, I'm glad you shared that with us because I feel like that's quite important, so thank you. And thank you so much to you for sending in your reader questions. Please keep them coming because we love to answer them. That's it for this episode of Travel Smart on independent.co.uk forward slash TV. Be sure to check in for our next episode, which you can watch on our website, on the Independence Mobile app, or on your smart TV. If you'd like to learn more about Barbados and all the adventures you can have, check out visitbarbados.org. And for all the latest travel news, reviews and advice, come and see us at independent.co.uk forward slash travel and listen to my daily travel podcast.